Welcome to mini lecture four in module two. In this very brief lecture, I'm simply going to introduce the distribution of human population at more of a fine scale, at a granular scale. And we're gonna to begin to ask the questions about why. Remember that geography is about the where of a phenomena and then most importantly, why. Let's take a look. If we look at human population, what we're seeing here is kind of a, a gross representation of human population across the world. And I want to show you a couple of important ideas. First of all, we've already noticed this, but this is what we call gridded data, which means that we have population counts in, in small grid cells rather than by political boundaries. And this way you can actually see where people concentrate. One of the things that you're going to notice is that we see, for example, in the United States, we see this line that divides kind of the eastern part of the country from the western part of the country. In Canada, in contrast, what you'll notice is that most of the population is right along the southern border. In Mexico, it's fairly uniformly distributed. We look at South America, we see this kind of big hole here. Anywhere that's light means very few people. Purple, darker purple, more people. And what you'll notice is that you can see these kind of these concentrations of purple here and here. You'll notice, of course, this very distinct line in Africa that kind of divides and leaves this major gap area here and here. You'll also notice this kind of line here. You'll notice the huge concentration of people here in eastern China and along the front range of the Himalayas here. Most of Australia is empty. Now that's, the, in fact, where people are and where they are not. What we have to begin to ask then is what factors lead to that? And in this lecture, I'm really not going to answer those questions other than to have you think about the following. What drives people in terms of that distribution? If we look at that map, can you see the influence of climate? In other words, do people live in certain areas and think about where places are very, very wet or exceedingly dry? where the winters or the summers, for that matter, are relatively cool or very, very cold. So climate can influence where people are. Resources can also influence where people are, where you have meaningful resources. Now, oftentimes when we say resources, people think about oil, coal, etc. But resources are really much more complex than that. Resources can include access to water. Resources can include arable land, flat land for that matter, deep soils. Those are all very important resources that sometimes we forget about. Now the other thing that's very important to where people live is access to transportation. In other words, we're saying that is transportation infrastructure. And again, today, if I were to say what was the transportation infrastructure, most of you would think about airplanes, trains, automobiles, highways. But for most of human history, the most important transportation infrastructure was a natural one, and that was access to waterways. Rivers and coastlines were the most important transportation systems on the planet, and most people relied on them almost solely to move major quantities of goods and services. So you want to think about that. Now, in a more contemporary context, when we talk about things like immigration, for example, Economic opportunity drives where people are and where people want to go. That is often what concentrates people in urban areas. Later on, we will see how strong a pull economic opportunity in cities can be. Now, we also have push factors. Conflict in areas can very quickly and very dramatically change population distributions. So you want to think about that. Okay, so that's it. I want you to simply to think about these in your quick write assignment. You're going to visit some of these in more detail. And I'm going to ask you to think about them and at least hypothesize reasons for certain distributions. Okay, that's it for this lecture. We'll see you next time.